All right, so it's been a while. Uh, I'm still messing with a few settings. I include my program being like, ah, I'm not, the key isn't plugged in or whatever. Anywho, uh, so messing with a few settings is it has been a while. I think I do need to uh, reset my tablet real fast. So I'll do that super quick as far as calibrating the pen. But yeah, uh, I definitely miss doing streams. The big reason why I haven't been doing them recently is just because I've been a little bit busy with searching for another job as well as now I wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. So I get pretty tired. I'm kind of like, it's, it's 8 o'clock and I'm like, I'm going to pass out because it is really late for me at that point. But then again, it's kind of like you go to bed at like 1 midnight, 1 a.m., which is what I was kind of used to for a while. And that only gets me like three or four hours of sleep, and that's not exactly good. So, can't really do that anymore, but, I mean, it's definitely good, and I definitely have felt a lot healthier doing it. So, as you guys can see, um, I have scene six here. Scene five is finally done. Feels like I was on scene five forever, and I'm definitely planning on getting through scene six a heck of a lot faster. So that I can get this episode done, and that would be wonderful and great and awesome. So, working on scene six here, and I'm doing this one a little bit differently. I do have a few, I have like this completed clip and stuff like that. It's, <laughs> it took like an hour, if that, from start to finish. I reused a background or a piece of a background for the previous scene as well, so it was super easy to finish. And then this one I do have the keys going for it. Um, so I might, what I'll probably work on today is actually, I might do the in-betweens of this, though I could also keep on doing the rough animation, which is actually what I'm looking, working on right now. So, all of these, uh, yellow squares right here, these are all the ones that I finished the rough animation for, so, and I, and I plowed through actually all of these in, like, a day, and I was like, wow, I did all those in a day, and I, it felt great. My, my brain was kind of fried at the end of it, but it, it, was, it was definitely really, really great. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's going. All the backgrounds, uh, as you can see, are completely done as far as the line art goes. All I need to do is color them, which I'll just do in mass at some point. I, this looks super messy right now, but if let's see if... Uh, there we go. So that's kind of the background uh, behind it, and then here's the fence. And so once it's colored in and stuff like that... So the fence is in the forefront and the background's in the background. Then it'll be a lot easier, I think, to see. But, anywho. So I did all the backgrounds. Uh, again, something that is slightly different than how I've been normally doing these. Uh, doing scenes and stuff like that. But I think it is going to really, really help. And it's, yeah, definitely seems to have been making the process go a lot easier and a lot faster. Or at least a lot more efficiently. So, I'm thinking I might actually continue and, I don't know, I might just hop around, flit around, like, butterfly or whatever, and just kind of see what I want to work on. So, I'll probably continue with the rough animation, and then if I get a little bit like, oh, I don't know what to do with this, then I might go, go work on some in-betweens in this clip. And that's the wonderful thing about doing it this way, too, is that I can just kind of jump around and I'm not just stuck on the same clip and be like, oh, I don't know what to do with this, so... Alrighty, but this uh, scene has definitely had some of my favorite animation to do so far. It's a lot of more action, um, a lot more walking, a lot more running, as you can see in that one. I even animated uh, him sitting down, which is actually pretty fun too. Um, it required a lot of uh, getting up out of my chair and just going and sitting down and just seeing what like my, what your legs do, what your arms do, stuff like that. So, but yeah, lots of running. And running is uh, honestly one of my favorite things to animate. I like animating a lot of action scenes. So, I don't know, maybe one day in the future I would I will do a more action-based animation or something like that. Because amongst other things, uh, it has action in it, of course. But uh, it's definitely not like an action series, quote-unquote. So, I'm going to work on this next one. Let's see. All right, just listening to the dialogue and what it, we've got. So, in this, this scene is basically just about Chris uh, chasing Will. So, he's chasing Will throughout the, these previous clips, and then finally he kind of catches up to him. 
So this is when he is confronting him and he's just like, you know, didn't you hear me? Like, I'm telling you to stop, you jerk or whatever. So Will is going to, let me make the storyboard a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter. There we go. So I can see it a bit better. And sometimes uh, I actually do like to work in different colors just so I can see it a lot easier among like the, the black background or I'll, I'll turn the black, the black round background green or whatever just some nicer color that I, is a lot easier to see so what i'm gonna do is that will is going to be coming in like this because he's been running and he's kind of gonna stop slightly kind of like wow this guy is still following me seriously come on come on give it give it a break i mean i know i stole your bag and your stuff but like give it a break so here's Will. He's a jerk. So let's see. So a lot of times when I'm doing running too, I'll write down um, left or right or whatever just to keep track of, um, especially when it's a, a scene that's a, or a clip that's only from the waist down, to make sure that I keep track of which leg they are leading with because that can affect the position of like the shoulders and the arms and whatnot. So, let's see, here's what I'm thinking is that, can come forward like this, and then he's going to, let's see, turn on this, there we go, that is super light, <laughs> let me see if I can make that a bit darker, I cannot see that at all, there we go, that much better. Actually, do this one in black so I can see it even closer. So he's gonna go back. The head's gonna kind of duck down as he comes to a stop. So that it needs to be a bit bigger. There we go. So and the shoulders are going to come up like this. So there's the hand holding the bag right there, and then. So he's gonna close his eyes well, when he stops. Here's the, his back right here. Here's the back. And then his head is going to come up in this final one. So go back to red just so I can see easier. And he kind of looks up and to the side kind of like, are you, you know, just like, are you serious? Like, really? as Chris comes out from behind this corner. So there we go, there's hand again. And like I said, this is just a very rough kind of estimation of what I want to see. And then the hair is also gonna flip up just a little bit to give it a, just a bit more life. And then it's going to settle back down. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste this frame. And then I'm just going to erase the hair. Like this. Not like that. That is not how you erase hair. And then I'm going to go over it with uh, black actually. To get, make my brush actually a little bit bigger. To then show what what it's gonna look like when it settles so so yeah just like yeah that and I'm actually gonna make this a little bit lighter okay that's a lot easier to see so there we go and in fact uh, I can probably do the same thing with uh, the, the hood of the jacket so it kind of comes up here but then it settles down. So maybe not that far. I mean, the thing is, uh, I think that as far as like exaggeration and- Oh, hey, Love Disney! Oh no, why do you feel like that? That doesn't sound good. I'm sorry, but how are you doing otherwise? But yeah, no, um, as far as like exaggeration in animation, I think that it definitely has to fit like with the tone of the series, like um, uh, you, it probably wouldn't fit in a more serious series to have a lot of, um, like, 
rubber hose animation. What I mean by that is like really, really bendy and stuff like that, which is fun to draw, I think, but it's sometimes not the best for the tone of a series. So, I just grin. Oh, well, I hope things get better. That doesn't sound good. So, I'm thinking it might have something to do with story related stuff, and if so, it, it will get better. So, you just gotta kind of keep on working on it and taking a break from it might also be a good idea as well so but thanks for stopping by just been working on um the rough animation for scene six so that's been actually going really really well so oh whoops <laughs> and so i did that there we go okay so basically what I'm doing here is just getting the very rough sketch of what I want to see in the final um, animation. So I can actually probably drag the bag over as well. because He's carrying uh, Chris's bag right here. There we go. And so it kind of settles down like that. Boop. Right there. So a lot of times what I kind of start with is that I get the basic frames of what I want to do. So basically the keyframes. And then I go through and I, and I time it with the animation. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be on four and then two. Mm, yeah, two and then two is what I'm thinking. I could be, I could be wrong, but trial and error. Eh, it might be a little bit fast. Let's see. Hold. Yeah, no, actually I kind of like it. Okay, let's see. And it might be a tiny bit too fast still. Let's see if I actually made this four. Yeah, that fixed that. That definitely fixed it. Okay. So I like the speed of that. So there's Will. I might move him a little bit more to the right overall. Just because uh, Chris is going to be in the background. And I definitely want uh, it to be very clear as far as... Uh, so you can actually see Chris so that Will isn't covering him up. So I'm going to move Will over here and apply it to all the frames. There we go. And see how that looks. That That is not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. So here's Will. I usually color his layers red. Because most of the characters and amongst other things I kind of associated with colors. And so I'll, I'll usually just, um, what I'm trying to say, do, uh, color their layers in that color. So that it's just very easy to tell, oh, this is Will, this is Chris, this is whoever, whatever. So it just makes it a lot easier. So there's Will. And now I'm going to do Chris, who is pink because of pink hair, obviously. So let's see. And I'm actually going to hide will so i can see chris a bit better so he's coming out from behind the fence so here's like the it, it probably is a little bit hard to see but here's the corner of the fence here's like the board or the background and stuff like that so it, it's kind of like that so he's gonna be running just out of it so let's and Chris runs kind of interesting, I think, because, um, let's see. I actually do have the clip uh, with him running. So, and it has a panning background. It, it looks fuzzy. The background looks fuzzy right now uh, because I forgot to take off the motion blur on the last clip, on the last frame of it. So, that'll be fixed in the actual animation. So, this is kind of, this actually is probably one of my favorite clips um, of the entire thing so far. So there's Will, there's Chris. Chris is a little bit uh, clumsy when he's running, but it's great because it's Chris. So he's kind of, here's his body and stuff like that. Here's his leg. I know, I just think that uh, running is just really, really fun to animate. It's, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of times when I'm doodling, I will actually just uh, doodle like run poses and stuff like that because it's, it's just really fun to do. They just have a lot of energy I think and yeah just super super fun so his hair is going to be flying in the wind all majestically and stuff so he's very unhappy because he's running after well that is not what I wanted okay 
There we go. So there's that. And then, actually, I probably should have started with the contact point. Um, especially with uh, any type of walk or run, it's very, very, very helpful to keep in mind your contact point. And what I mean by that is, like, where the leg, so this one in this case, hits the ground to keep it, well, literally grounded. Um, so that it doesn't just kind of look like that the character is just floating or just, it, it, it gives it some gravity to it because, well, we're affected by gravity, and so you gotta keep that in mind, unless it's an animation that takes place in space or some kind of fantasy universe, and it doesn't have gravity, and that's cool too, and then you can portray that, but at least for amongst other things, it takes place on Earth, so gravity. Gravity is a thing. There's... Let's see. I think I might make that a little bit smaller. I kind of like how, uh, he does uh, turn just a bit, so he's kind of like he's uh, facing exactly this way in this in this one, and then he kind of turns around to like a three quarters view right here. So there we go. So he's gonna go, excuse me, like that, and then let's see. Gonna duck his head down as well. Hmm. I might do a few different takes of this run because keeping in mind that in the in the previous clip uh, he does trip, so he could be a little bit tired from that. And a lot of times when I am doing runs, um, I will do multiple takes of it just to kind of see. Okay, here's one way I can do it. Here's another way I can do it. And I think it's really helpful because then you can see that and because a lot of times uh, the, the first take is not going to be the best one so sometimes it is and then i just kind of move on but then not always i think the there we go I'm sure it's going to come out just a little bit so he's going to run forward like that all right And then his head is going to come up, I think, fairly quickly. Because he's going to go look after Will, like, seriously, man? Like, seriously? So the hair is going to be down because his head is going up like that. And then I've been doing a lot of uh, animation study, actually, based on a lot of Disney movies because... Um, mainly the older ones. I really, really like the animation in the older ones, so I've been doing studies on them. And something that I've noticed a lot is that they have kind of a leading part. So I guess in this case, so the head is kind of what leads the whole body movement. Um, but like in uh, Cinderella, there was a clip from Cinderella where it was more like her arm leading the movement or her foot leading the movement. And so just keeping that stuff in mind as I'm doing this. So Let's see, I might actually move the arm like that there's the fist just to give it a bit more power and mm -mm, let's see i'm not entirely sure what i want to do with this clip or this clip this frame so i'm just going to kind of try a few things and, and see how it goes because i could have him bring the this leg forward so that he eventually sets the foot down like this. Or, let's see. So that's one way I could do it. So then here, and then the foot comes down, he fully looks at Will, so his body turns like this. This leg comes out a bit more like that. Which doesn't, eh, I don't know, I'm not quite convinced on it. It comes out like this. He has his fists up because he's very angry. He's a very angry, like, uh, pink haired child, adult man, whatever he is. He is like 20, so I guess technically adult. There's the body like that. So that is one way I could do it. 
I'm tempted to try uh, a different way, so I'm just gonna call this like one. So attempt number one is what this looks like. So this one has a bit more energy to it, especially with this uh, very high jump in the beginning. And then he comes forward like that. Another way I could do it, because like I said, he does trip in the previous clip, is to make it a little bit slower. So in that case, maybe his head is down, he isn't leaping anymore, but he's kind of trotting a little bit. Because he probably hurt his knee or his foot or something like that. So there's the leading foot. There's that. But he's still go moving at a fairly fast pace. So the hair is still moving. And he's looking at Will like, dang I hate you. I hate you, man. <laughs> so here's another way that I can do this. So this one, the right leg is forward. So that means that the left arm is going or right, left, right. Ah, it's especially confusing when like, <laughs> Character's kind of facing you, and I'm just like, what leg is that again? That's that's the left leg. So, the arms are normally going to go opposite as what the legs are going. So, if the left leg is going forward, then the right arm is going to, or left arm is going to go back. So, forward, back. There we go. And then, the left arm is going to come forward like this. Yeah, if I can get it. <laughs> if I can get it to look right. So he kind of has his elbows out a little bit like a... Almost like a... I don't know what it's called necessarily. I don't know, like a gorilla walk or whatever. But yeah, it's like that kind of pose or whatever. I don't know. Big buff man. I mean, of course, Chris is not a buff man, but it kind of works. There we go. Doop -doop 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 -doop. And gone. Okay. So he could walk in like this, and then, oh, save. Yeah, I know, uh, I believe I had it the last time I streamed, but I have a handy dandy. You haven't saved in a really long time, so you should probably save type thing. So, which has been actually pretty dang helpful. So, let's see, I think at the head, I still want pretty far down because he's getting pretty tired, but this time, the... Excuse me. The right or the left arm is going to come forward because this is going to be the second contact for point. The right arm is back. He's still kind of bent slightly. And then this leg is going to be up because it's going to be a different contact point like that. All right, I think I already like this one quite a bit better. The other one was good, it had energy, and I always like that in runs and stuff like that, but it almost had a bit too much energy. I think I'll change this hand position, actually. Yeah, so like that. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better, I think. But he's not moving, I don't think, quite fast enough for the hair to move quite so much. Of course, this is going to be cleaned up a lot. This is definitely not the final um, animation. <laughs> If it was, uh, that wouldn't be very good, I don't think. But you know what? It's always got to start somewhere. So, I think one of my favorite things really is taking, um, is, is seeing how something progresses, progresses, progresses from not looking terribly great to something that you can really work with and that you can be like, yeah, I've looks.